Four different types of fruity teas. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm reviewing four different types of teas from the Lawson convenience store here in Japan. So there are four different types, they're all different. There are two different kind of subcategories. Uh, this one and this one, these are the kind of cheaper versions. And this one and this one here are a little bit more upmarket, shall we say. Uh, basically because of the price and the fruit content. So these two here come to 118 yen, which at this point in time is 80 cents in US dollars. These two are 158 yen, which comes to uh, $1.07. So you can see they're a little bit pricier. Now they all contain exactly the same amount of tea, they're all exactly the same size, 240 milliliters. And uh, they're all made with exactly the same tea leaf, which is the Ceylon tea, which comes from Sri Lanka. So Ceylon, Ceylon tea is uh, very well known for being a good tea for um, making iced tea. But well, these are all uh, cold drinks. So it has a strong, brisk flavor, which really lends itself to uh, drinks like these, and especially with mixing with some kind of fruit. So let's go in for the first one, which is the apple tea. So this has 4% fruit juice. So it's, uh, well, it's not bad, I suppose, for what you're getting. Uh, it's apple tea. It's from the Uchi Cafe um, range of desserts in the uh, Lawson store. So I've got all behind here, I've got all these cups which have the same tea inside them because if I'm drinking it from the straw, you don't really get the aroma. So I put it in a cup uh, to first sample the aroma. Let's sample the aroma, shall we? It's like a wine tasting. <laughs> no, it does have a light um, kind of a smell of apple, but uh, it's more kind of like a mixture between tea and apple. It's quite a light flavoring of, a light, a light uh, smell of apple, I should say. Okay, so let's go in for a bit of a taste. Okay. So you can taste the tea more than the apple, but it's got a little hint of apple in there. How sweet is it? It's a very mild sweetness, but it's more tea than it is apple. But I just took this from the fridge actually, so they show it's really, really cold, so it's nice and refreshing. And the more you have it, you know, the taste in your mouth, you can feel the apple coming through more and more. So if you like really sweet, uh, iced tea, you might be a bit surprised by how unsweet this is, but it's more of a tea than it is like an apple juice. So, and remember, it just has 4% um, juice in it. So, yeah, it's very refreshing. Okay, the second one we're going to go for is the Muscat tea. So, Muscat is basically a, a variety of grapes. In Japan, they call these green grapes Muscat. Um, they don't call them green grapes. They just give them the formal name muscat. So um, there you go. So let's have a bit of a smell. I've got some in the cup here. Uh, this one smells a little bit stronger than the apple one. And the color itself is actually a little bit lighter if you can compare the two of them there. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera there. But uh, yeah, so let's go in for a taste for the muscat one. Here goes. Mmm. Again, similar to the, the other one, the apple one, a very mild flavor of grape coming through. It's not overpowering, but it's kind of a very elegant taste, shall we say. Mm, definitely not oversweet, but I think you can taste the fruit more in this one than you can in the apple. I was expecting the apple one to have a stronger taste than the grape, but actually the grape, or the muscat, should I say, has a little bit of a stronger taste. Mm, it's very, very pleasant. But as I said before, if you like your tea really sweet, maybe you'll be disappointed with the, the sweetness of this particular drink. Okay, the third one, now we're moving a wee bit more up market. These ones are a bit more expensive because they contain much more fruit juice. And it says on the package here that you have to give them a good shake before you drink it. I guess to mix, it's got actual fruit pulp uh, mix through it. So now you can't actually see the fruit pulp through it, but it must be very, very fine. We'll see what that tastes like when we drink it, eh? So going for a bit of a smell. <laughs> like an elephant. 
<laughs> I'll tell you, I'm not used to doing drinks like this. I'm usually doing food. So this is kind of a first for me. <laughs> uh, point of the day is don't drink the tea through your nose. <laughs> oh, you can really, it's much fruitier, much more peachy, if you know what I mean. Peachy, peachy. But... <laughs> So this is, of course, the more upmarket one. So let's see what it's all about, eh? Cheers. Oh. Okay, now we're talking, this is more, more like a fruit juice than a tea. It's got a much stronger flavor of the fruit. And also the tech, you can't really see the texture of a drink, but you can tell it's a little bit thicker. With well, these ones are more like, just like pure tea with a bit of juice added. This one here, you can actually taste, ah, there's like more kind of fruit pulp, albeit very, very fine pieces of fruit pulp, but you can tell it's a bit more gloopy, shall we say? <laughs> yeah, this is much more like a fruit juice than a tea, but it does have a little kind of a, a hint of tea because what is it, 50, 50% 50 fruit juice. So 50% tea, 50% fruit juice, so not bad, eh? <laughs> Okay, the final one in our upmarket teas uh, is this one here. It's just, it just says fruit tea, it's mixed fruit. So on the cover here, it's got a picture of a mango, an apple, a pineapple, and some grapes. So I guess it's got those four in it, and it actually says on the back, it does have those four in it. Um, so this also seems like you're supposed to shake it before you drink it. But before we do that, we gotta go into uh, sample the aroma. I'm not going to drink it through my nose this time. Oh, you can, I can completely smell all the different, you can really smell the pineapple the most, I think. Okay, let's go in for a try. <laughs> ah, as with that, I noticed with the, with the aroma, you can really taste the pineapple. This one is also 50%. But again, you do get a little kick of tea in at the end there. Yeah, this is a really nice balance, nice combination. So these two here, the ones which have 50% um, fruit juice included in them and a bit of the pulp, you can really tell they're much sweeter than these two over here. Okay, instead of doing my usual rating of stars, I'm just gonna rate them as my least favorite to my most favorite. So my least favorite one from these I'm gonna do for this one here, the mixed fruit. This came in at number four. I'm not a big fan of pineapple and just, I don't think you needed four different fruits in there. The flavor was kind of complicated. It really took away from the flavor of the tea. So mm, it was a bit too much going on there. Number three is gonna be the muscat, the green grapes. This is my third favorite. I'm not too sure whether grape, the flavor of grapes or muscat grapes, goes all that well with tea. Um, but it was very nice, it was very light and mild, but uh, still, you know, it wasn't my favorite, but it was, it was very nice and refreshing. The number two one was apple. So I think the apple had a nice kind of a, a strong flavor, a stronger flavor. So it went really nice with the Ceylon tea. So Ceylon tea has got quite a punchy, strong, crispy flavor. And apple also has kind of a similar uh, taste. So they um, went together really well. But my favorite one is, of course, the remaining one here, which is peach. So I think the peach tea was the best one. I don't know, the Ceylon tea and the peach just had a really nice combination and it was refreshing, but at the same time, it was nice and sweet. It just had um, just a nice feel in the mouth. So yeah, overall, this was my favorite. But they were all very good. And remember, these are cheaper, these are more expensive, but that didn't really reflect itself in my rating. Okay, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.